Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley Bedeck and today we'll be doing a glueless start to finish install. This one comes courtesy of my first wig. And yes, when I say glueless, there's no confusion. This one is going to be 100% glueless. Now I did try a new, somewhat new, or maybe it's just new to me, method with the hairline. Now I did try a new method with this one with the mousse. It's kind of where you just take the mousse and you use that to kind of like melt the lace in while it's still glueless. It doesn't attach the lace at all. It just makes the hairline look a little bit more like cohesive with your skin. And like it's bonded down. It's kind of like smoke and mirrors or as you guys know I love to call it a little bit of finesse so you'll be able to like experiment with that technique with me today also as I mentioned this one is 10 inches it's yakky and of course we have this beautiful natural baby hair or edges if you want to call it I'm gonna go in probably tomorrow in a few days and style these up you can tweeze it out you can add um, you know your little heat to it and make them wispy or curly or just Whatever you want to do to them, you can do to them. If you don't want to do anything to them like I did, it just makes it look a little bit more natural. Also, the beauty is that because this one is not bonding down, I can pull it back or whatever I choose. But I'm going to go ahead and jump into the tutorial. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Stiff wear. Wait, hold up, hold up. Stiff wear. Now let's get into it. Okay, ladies, let's get right into it. You guys know I've been on a journey with my hairline. I have thin hair. It's fine. It's low density, but I still want to bring back my edges from postpartum hair loss, uh, wearing wigs, so forth and so on. So I've been applying the rosemary. What is it? Rosemary mint oil by Mayel. I've been taking my hair gummies and everything has been everything. I just dyed my hair. So you're going to see me... Um, do a natural hair tutorial soon but for now i'm just trying to stick to it and stay committed to at least moisturizing my hairline at least like three to four times a week and kind of just give myself a little massage along the hairline this is typically where my wig cap used to sit so i feel like the wigs and the glue didn't take my hair because i don't wear glue but just sitting that wig cap right there in that exact spot has kind of like hindered the growth anyways let's focus on the star of the show this is her and the inside construction of the cap she comes courtesy of my first wig and they did give us that adjustable elastic band i use that too as pretty much step one to apply the wig put that on as a kind of like an anchor and kind of like pressing down my braids and then i put the rest of the wig on hooking that comb in the back into the nape of my neck when going out and this is what she looks like on so here i am just checking out the hairline i really wanted to see what i was working with and it literally gives like my edges that i'm trying to work on getting back if you guys just seen the, the clip of my edges is that but a little bit fuller and a little bit longer so i went ahead and extended the parting i love the fact that they took care of me with the parting you guys know i don't love a short skimpy parting i like six inches or more and they definitely came through with that i love the lace because it actually blends this lace looks so good that i know i don't have to add anything if i don't want to i'm extra so you'll see me do so later in the video but you guys can see here here. I'm just doing the dynamic duo. I am using the wax stick from bdecbd.com paired with the electric hot comb and just giving this a good press. I use as many heat passes as it takes. So if you want, you can definitely use a heat protectant and you guys can see the victory. It definitely makes a huge difference. A lot of times when I see girls out and about, especially when I go like to other states, like when I go to my husband's hometown of Missouri, I just like want to hand him a business card with my YouTube tutorials and say, watch this. You need the dynamic duo. You need to be able to flatten out that lace and get it right. Anyways, I couldn't find my clips on hand. So I already knew my first wig had me covered and they had some in my package. So I went ahead and pulled those out. I'll show you the rest of the goodies towards the end of the video. And I just pulled the hair back so we can work on the install process. You guys know I love to make sure my wigs fit snug into my head shape so i like to just go ahead and use my ear as a guide to pretty much cut off any excess lace that goes like below or around my ear now that we're good i'm going to just cut off the remainder of the excess lace you can literally do this all in one motion and cut from one ear to the other ear i do it in steps just to make sure it's perfect and how i need i'm not in a rush and here is something that is very important. You guys see my sideburns and you guys see the 4C edges. Literally same 
texture literally same same texture so it literally blends i'm going to cut off any excess lace so there's no like lace pieces poking i just want you to be able to see hair and you really cannot tell the difference between my edges and the lace and that is important to me they say 4c edges and it don't look like this is not 4c those are my sideburns and then the hairline they provided and they marry beautifully and again i have not installed anything this is what the wig looks like on here is a 360 view i love the cut on this it's very professional it doesn't give like you took scissors and just went straight across they definitely added some density in there and some dimension in there so when you bump it it's gonna look so bomb and i'm gonna do that in just a moment here i'm just showing you guys we're not bonding it down i was kind of deciding like do i need to bond it down or no and i decided not to so you guys see here i just added the um concealer you guys know fenty in the color 420 is my favorite i'm just extra you didn't need to do this at all and this pretty much is the only step you need to do this is literally a two-step wig cut off the excess lace bump the ends to your liking and you're good to go so anything else you see me do in this video is literally just me wanting to just be a perfectionist but i just took my bebulous flat iron paired with a rat tail comb this one you can get on my website as well i have it in the description box and i just went in and just bumped the ends the hair didn't need to be like flat ironed or straightened you just want to make sure those ends look really good and i love the cut in the back because you really can see how nice and detailed the cut is when you go ahead and bump it on the right hand side is what the hair bumped and on the left hand side is with it not you know like nothing done to it at all both sides give a different vibe the bump is my favorite but if you want to go for like what they gave you can definitely just go run over it with the hot comb without the bump it does give more of an edge like an edgy blunt cut look and of course the hair naturally will fall even though i'm bumping it and it'll go back to that edgy look i like both and more i'm going for you know again like a little vibe or something like that okay ladies really quickly i don't know if you heard that or if i muted it but my alarm just went off three minutes ago to go pick up my daughter um i challenged myself to do this install because i have some errands to run today and i wanted to look kind of cute you know i woke up and i put on my everyday gym wig and this is what it looks like it's red into the tat it's a beautiful wig but it needs to be washed and that is kind of like the wig i've been throwing on usually there's a wig right here in the morning so that when i'm getting the kids ready i just pop my bonnet off and put something on that one has served its purpose and done its time so i really wanted to make sure i looked decent going to pick her up i like to make sure even if i look crazy at the drop off i kind of have a little bit of redemption at the pickup and stiff wear this bob is absolutely gorgeous i just wanted to show you in case my kids terrorize me today okay so now we are back and the kids definitely terrorize me i'm not gonna cap i did take a nap so this was me like literally falling asleep in the bed with the towel over my pillow so i didn't get any makeup on it and i woke up and i just was all over the place so i am deciding do i want to bond it down just to show you guys i really don't want to because it's not necessary so i did see this method and i have seen it a few times like over the last few months over social media i don't i would love to give someone credit for it but again i've seen it so many times that like today i just decided to do it and it literally is where you just take your mousse you guys know i love the nairobi and i'm gonna pair it with a melt belt i have pulled a fresh one from inventory but then i got like frugal and was like why use a fresh one when the one i already have still is in excellent condition and i just applied that on top now the mousse to my understanding is alcohol based but it, there is no adhesive to it so it's not gonna make it sticky even like since i've done this a few days ago um it didn't make it bond down it didn't make it like um sticky or anything like that it just makes it like blend if you will with your um hairline and just melt in i left it on for about 10 minutes and again it looks and it gives the illusion that the wig is bonded down and melted a lot of the times with my wigs i really don't feel the need to bond the wig down but i just want to do it because it makes the wig look a lot more like melted especially when dealing with baby hair and this kind of cancels out that step where you don't have to bond it down to get the melted look here is a close-up of the hairline as well as the edges again you can go in and like 
press them out. You can form natural baby hair with them. This is what it looks like pulled back. I can definitely trim them shorter. That's the one critique I can say. But I wanted it to keep it natural just so that, you know, when I'm out and about, it just looks like I went to the gym, got a little flustered. But, you know, it's mine. So I love this wig. There is a direct link in the description box. Let me know what you guys think of her. Okay, ladies, I'm going to make it short and sweet. A little long-winded, so I'm going to try to keep it cute with you guys today. I love this one, and the bonus on this one is that it is 100% glueless. Now, sometimes... um companies including my first wig will say like hey can you you know do the install without gluing it down this is a glueless wig we want to make sure we capture that point but today they didn't even require me to do a glueless um install and it ended up being a glueless install just because it fits amazing i don't need to bond this down i'm not going to waste my time i'm not going to add an extra step now the only thing i will say is i haven't decided if i wanted to actually style this baby hair um you guys know the curly edges is a thing and i'm here for it but a lot of the times like the hair will come in a curly edge and i want to manipulate it to either um like soup into baby hair or i want to like relax it with the hot comb and you know make swoops or just send it back into the rest of the hair today i kind of just want to leave it as is I'm not sure if I want to change it later. Like sometimes you'll see your pictures and be like, okay, I can change it. But for right now, I think we're good. If I do change it, maybe I'll come back and insert a clip. But this one did come from My First Wig. You guys already know we are locked in for Elva. I love me some My First Wig and this is the uh, packaging as always. Inside there's this beautiful dust bag. And of course, this is where my beautiful unit was housed. Beneath that were a few more goodies. You guys may have seen this mid-tutorial. Um, I always have my little, where are they, duck bill clips, my little alligator clips, my dolphin clips, whatever you guys call them. But for some reason, it seems like, I guess because I'd be actually wearing them in my hair, I always have at least two of those clips like in my filming stuff and lately every time i come back i either have one or i have none and i know it's not my kids it's just me i'm always grabbing those for like pilates and boxing and they end up in my car in my purse or just like in the wig and the wig is like put away so i did pull this out and this came in perfect um handy perfect clutch it is a like reusable cute little pouch and it's double-sided um and it just says their logo on it on one side it has a pretty little stripes and on this side, it's uh, no stripes, so that's super cute. And inside was this cute little rat tail comb, and it does say my first wig on it, and it does, um, yeah, my first wig on it. And then they gave two of those clips. I knew when I ran out, I was like, I can count on them to give me two. So that came in handy for the install process. And then also they gave me these goodies here. This is the OG Classic. This is their Flyaway Tamer. Now, you guys see me use the edge control for my line, but this is um, great. So if you don't have mine and you purchase this wig, or any wig from their company you can definitely add this on to your purchase and um yeah it's amazing and then also this here is a wig and knot healer and this basically is no bleaching needed so um i need to actually leave this on my stand you guys know i typically will use a concealer but this here is pretty much a product and it is it does have their logo and their brand it says my first wig on it but it's a product basically i can use with my um concealer brush and put into the parting how i did today but anyways i'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go be sure to check out my first wig directly to this wig is in the description box as well as lists and links of everything we use to complete this look i'm apologizing in advance for my voice i am getting rid of or getting over a cold from last wednesday and like this last little bit of the cough and like the congested sound just will not go away i'm no longer sick i don't have a runny nose but it's just like it just still sounds like I'm sick. It's just this new strand of just getting sick. It's just different than back in the day. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and share with your friends. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Smooches.